Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm going to show you how to make this dryer dry better on Dad It Yourself. Okay, so here is my laundry room, and Mom It Yourself has said this dryer is not working as good as it can, and it smells a little bit. So I took a look behind it. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a little dim, but that's how they installed it when they put it in. And there is some lint and stuff back there, which tells me that connection is not as good as it could be. And then my sons also have a habit of not cleaning out the lint trap. These clothes are wet, which means this dryer needs to be gone. And then I think down in here, we may have some lint buildup. So I'm going to have to pull the front off of this as well and clean that out. So let's do some maintenance on this Frigidaire Affinity Dryer. Well, if you look right here, you can see that this doesn't go all the way down, which tells me that there's some stuff down in there. So we're going to pull this out, and that is by taking that screw out and that screw out right there, and then this whole unit should pull right out. Yep, there are two more screws inside, too. Didn't see those. So let's pull that out. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. You guys can probably see down here. So this is just the lint from the outside. Then everything that's sitting down below on the bottom. But the tube that goes to the vacuum looks pretty clear. So that's a good sign. Or I shouldn't say to the vacuum, but to the vent. So let's get this all cleaned out of there. I've got a damp rag here, not wet at all, barely damp, and that's just to get rid of some of the last dust and dirt that's still in here. And a dry towel. Check that out. How's that for a change, huh? Got a little dust back in there. I'll swipe that out, but no. I think that looks pretty damn good. Let's get this thing put back together. You can definitely see now how that sits down right there nice and smooth and that's going to prevent more lint and dust from getting down below in there. So let's tackle the big thing, the mess in the back. Okay so I'm behind the dryer and it's kind of messy. I'll clean this up in a minute but as you can see so here's the exhaust and here's where the intake connected and maybe it's within a couple of inches. You can see it's right there and it popped off so that tells me it wasn't very tight anyways so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of all of this by just cutting this and putting that coupling probably right about here and then i'll have this push back and i'll connect it and then i'll climb out of this hole and that should actually increase the efficiency of the dryer as well and then look at that there's all the wayward socks found them I'll get this all cleaned up. I 
All right, so I got all the dirt taken care of. Looks good. Uh, now I'm going to shorten this hose a little bit. And mom at yourself's standing by to give me a hand with this. So let me get this hose shortened up. So one thing I want to talk about before I put this pipe on is if you're concerned that this duct is clogged, um, I've seen people, they take a leaf blower and they actually stick it in this hole and they blow everything out. Um, in my case, this goes up to the roof and then there's a screened uh, cap on there. So if I put a leaf blower in that right now and blow it, everything's going to get stuck at the end if there's anything in there. I can actually feel wind coming in here from outside which tells me one of two things. I have a clear pipe or the little flapper at the top is not closed all the way. So probably what I'll have to do on a day that it's not raining and it's bright out is climb up on my roof and um, clear that screen and make sure everything looks good up there and maybe even throw a shop back hose down in that and drop it down into here and suck everything out. It's not that far. I mean, it's probably 10 feet up to the, to the cap from here so I can put a couple of lengths of hose in there and suck it right out. So consider that before you put this pipe on. All right, instead of clamps for the duct and to hook it to the fitting, I'm gonna use this metal foil tape. You wanna use this instead of actual duct tape. Duct tape is actually not for ducting. You wanna use this metal foil tape. It's super sticky and it comes on this backer and you just wrap it around. Uh, the key here is to make sure all your surfaces are dust free so it sticks really well. So I'm gonna put this on the wall connection and to the coupler that's going to connect to the dryer and then I'm going to actually use a mechanical clamp on the exhaust for the dryer. Let's do that. Oh, I don't know if you caught that, but uh... A little sharp point there. I uh, thought I cleaned all those off and it got me really good right there. So let me get a band-aid for that and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, got the sharp on there. This may look a little short, but this is going to come way back. And I actually have some extra pipe in here if I need to pull this out to make it a little longer. So I got to connect it right to there with that clamp right there. So it's going to be a little hard to show you guys, but I, hopefully I can get my camera maybe over in this corner. And you guys can see it when uh, Mama Yourself pushes the dryer back. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good shot. All right, All right so i got to get this to there. Mama Yourself is going to push it back. And I'm going to have this clamp already on there ready to go. And hopefully I can get into it with the... Uh, the um, nut driver with the long extension on it and we'll get that clamped on there and then maybe uh, no I probably won't put any tape on that just because it's too hard to get into this little connection right here all right mom it yourself give it a little push from the bottom Stop. I have to back up a little. Stop. Okay. Does this go forward anymore? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, there's only so much room back here for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who can't see, I'm actually wedged behind the washing machine so I can keep some uh, keep an eye on this. Okay, here we go. Lining that up. Lining that up. Lining that up. Okay. Look out for that sharp spot right there. It'll get you. Okay. A little bit more, Mom, at yourself. Okay, here it comes. A little more. Okay, stop. Okay, give it a little more. Okay, 
you stop right there. Oop. Dryer with a dirty lint trap and exhaust is a fire hazard, so keeping it clean will increase the safety in your home. Also, a clean dryer runs more efficiently and saves energy, and it gets those clothes dryer a lot faster. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.